Hello, my friends, and welcome back. Thank you very much for being with me again today. A minute ago, I covered the second attempt uh, of the Ukrainian army to conduct its, uh, according to the Russians, offensive. I covered this in the morning. It was a report regarding uh, Sunday, the weekend attacks, with losses. Now, I have other losses provided by the Russians, and I have some NATO tanks blown up, according to the Russians. And not one, but many of them. So I have two articles com coming, obviously, from the Russians, who claim that um, they destroyed uh, many Ukrainians, many tanks and other things. So the tanks are the Leopard. Yes, the Leopard, the German ones. But I guess it's acceptable to report that the Leopards were blown up, but no high Mars or Patriot system. No. So let's go to the first article that I have here. And this comes from Sputnik. It says Ukraine lost 1,500 people, 28 tanks in the southern Donetsk sector, Russian mis Defense Ministry. As we reported three hours ago, remember over there is already Tuesday in Europe, in uh, Russia and Ukraine. And uh, let's see. What do we have here? It said that on June 5th, Ukraine continues continued its offensive, uh, counterattacking the main effort, concentrating the main efforts on the southern Donetsk sector, adding that active and selfless operations by units of the Vostok grouping of troops who showed courage and heroism stopped the enemy who failed to achieve the assigned tasks. And here is what we got. And I'm quoting, the attacking units of the armed forces of Ukraine suffered significant losses. The total losses of Ukrainian troops in the southern Donetsk sector amounted to more than 1,500 Ukrainian military personnel, 28 tanks, 8 of them Leopards made in Germany, 3 wheeled AMX-10 tanks made in France, and 109 armored combat vehicles, the ministry said. Now, this was a war, if true. Uh, well, we'll find out with time. Patience is still a virtue. It looks as though Ukraine has started its long-hyped counteroffensive, though no official confirmation that it has begun has come from Kiev. It will not unless uh, they will have uh, some success. Uh, the other article comes from Russia Today. NATO supplied tanks destroyed in failed Ukrainian offensive. Russian Minister of Defense. Again, Kiev lost eight German Leopards and three French AMX tanks, the military said. Wait a minute, that's uh, eight and three. What did the other, the other guys say here? Eight and three. Oh, okay. My, my bad. So the same thing is here as... Uh, as they um, uh, reported in uh, Sputnik, but they say having suffered heavy losses the day before the Kiev regime recognized the remnants of the 23rd and 31st mechanized brigades into separate combined units, which continued the offensive operations close to Novodarovka and Levadnoye, said the ministry spokesman, Lieutenant General Igor, Igor Konashenkov. And again, this is what uh, they say, three uh, French tanks and eight Leopard, so AMX-10. And here is, it was unclear if the tally included the losses from Sunday's botched attack, which was described as, and I'm quoting, large-scale, yes, unsuccessful by the Russian military. In the attempt alone, that was during the weekend or Sunday, Kiev lost more than 250 service members, 16 tanks, 3 infantry vehicles and 21 armored vehicles, according to the military. So, it says some videos circulating, circulated by military bloggers on Telegram did show what appears to be several abandoned French AMX-10 light tanks, but did not include visual confirmation of the German-made Leopards lost in battle. So, I'm assuming these are the ones that might show the French. I don't know, because I don't know. But this should be like covered. All right. 
So the Russian Defense Ministry has yet to release footage of the latest strikes on Ukrainian military vehicles. On Monday, it published a video of Ukrainian heavy equipment supplied by the Western nations being destroyed by Russian strikes and uh, the day before. UK's Deputy Defense Minister Anna Maliar confirmed that Kiev's forces were moving to offensive actions, that's true, she said that, in some areas, but provided no comment on the failed attacks that claim and claim that Moscow's talk about the Kiev's quote-unquote counteroffensive blunders was an attempt to, to, to divert attentions from its own alleged failures. Well, uh, just, uh, just sit tight for about uh, a week and after a week uh, the Ukrainians will uh, come clean. Why? Because the Russians would, will have probably time to gather more videos and when they will uh, post pictures and uh, videos then the Ukrainians will say something else like it was staged and all that but it's okay. It's okay. So eight leopards, three AMX or whatever those are, ten uh, wheeled tanks from France. 1,500 or 1,300 were the losses uh, in personnel because that's not something that is, uh, you know, occurs uh, in a little attack. 1,500 you can military personnel, 28 tanks, 28 tanks out of which eight were leopards made in Germany. Okay, and 109 armored combat vehicles. Now that was a butcher. Uh, event. But unfortunately, as I said, the, the Ukrainians will deny it. Uh, um, we wait five more days, six more days, the Russians will get the evidence, if there's the evidence, and then everybody's gonna calm down. I'm pretty sure the Americans know exactly what happened, but the mass media also waits for the order. What do we write? Hold it, hold it, okay, okay, okay. What do we write? Hold it. That's how the mass media is here. They are very, very disciplined, very disciplined, the mass media, the free mass media in the United States of America. And not only, it seems like they're very disciplined, they're like an order that was given. And these guys are just. Anyway, just kidding. Not. Thank you very much for being with me again today. Stay strong, stay smart, look for the truth and be just.